Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Are you ready? Are you steady? Are you sitting down comfortably? Because today we are going to start building the Disney Castle. This is a huge set. It has over 4,000 pieces. And as you can see, this is a replica of the Walt Disney World Resort Cinderella Castle. So the outside facade of the castle is actually designed to look just like the real thing that you would see in real life. So this is a really, really heavy box and it's got so many bags in it. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, holy moly. And the bags keep coming because there's a second box in here too. Right, and an enormous book. This is a novel. <laughs> and oh, look, just one little sheet of stickers. So not too many stickers to put on, but oh my goodness, there are over 400 pages in the book. Wow, okay. <laughs> Where to start? Well, we'll start with one of the minifigures that comes with the set. There are five minifigures and I'm going to not show them all to you at the beginning, but I have got Mickey out because of course Mickey is the iconic Walt Disney figure and Mickey is wearing a special outfit for this particular set. This is a different outfit to the one that he has in the Disney minifigures that were released last season. So he's wearing a tuxedo, he's got tails on the back there, and he's all ready to welcome you to Walt Disney Castle. Yeah, hello. I'm not certain that sounded anything like Mickey, but that's all right. Mickey also comes with his mate here, Minnie, and Minnie is also wearing a special outfit for this. She's wearing the red polka dot dress in the minifigures sets the uh, individual baggy sets that um, sh she was in as well, she had pink, she was in pink. So they're matching very nicely and they are welcoming you to this build. Now, this actual set is Cinderella's castle, but the set does not come with Cinderella. So I've pinched Cinderella out of one of my other sets and she's gonna be here to supervise because after all, it is her castle. I must say I'm curious about why she wasn't included in the set. It probably is a licensing issue of some sort, something that we won't know anything about, being mere consumers and not the people who have to actually make the products. But that's okay because I can pinch her from one of my other sets and she can be involved in this build as well. Now because this is a Disney castle, there is going to be magic and there is going to be mischief and there is going to be mayhem while we are building this. <laughs> so make sure you keep watching. We are currently building the floor plan of this epically awesome castle and you're going to see my little orange tool coming out quite a lot because I'm going to make all sorts of little mistakes here but I'm going to be able to fix them because I'm going to pay attention to the instructions. <laughs> Now the floor plan is coming together very, very nicely. Look at those colored pieces in there that Lego hides in amongst all the gray and they're all gonna be covered up and over. We're not gonna see them. They're sort of a mystery, mystery surprise that you know are hidden under the floor. Oh, now I forgot to tell you when we opened up the box because I was so overwhelmed by how many bags there were in there. There are actually 34 bags all up in this build. There are 14 bagged building phases, so they're numbered up to 14, but 34 bags all up. So yeah, 4,000 pieces, more than 4,000 pieces. We're gonna be going for a while. I love this mosaic floor in the middle here. The panel's been built and it's slightly recessed when we put the rest of these floorboards down, which means they're gonna walk in and they're gonna fall down <laughs> into this pretty mosaic tiled area. <laughs> I hope the set comes with a sign that says watch your step as you come in through the front big doors. <laughs> no, of course not, I'm just being silly. Now we have the first fairy tale nod here. First nod to the frog prince. Look at that. So we've got two little frogs and the crown and they are sneaking out here outside the castle and we're going to build Tinkerbell. I've got her out of one of the other sets, out of one of the other bags, sorry. And she comes with this set. So we're gonna put her skirt on. Do you know, I would dearly love to see a Tinkerbell mini doll, not just the mini figure, cause I don't know, she's just a bit blocky for me. I know that the diehard Lego fans will all go, no, but I really like the mini dolls. I know they have their restrictions, but I would like to see all of the Disney fairies and Tinkerbell, all of the Disney fairies as, uh, mini dolls. And Tinkerbell is here now and she's doing some magic <gasps> and she's magicked the prince and the prince oh princess hold on she's put them back again probably because they were the wrong prince and princess because shouldn't that be Tiana and her frog prince but we have no Tiana minifigures or mini dolls yet and I'm eagerly awaiting that as well. So many things that I'm waiting to come out from Lego and they'll get there eventually I'm sure. Okay 
we're building up the front steps here, the entryway, and they are incredibly majestic, very grand. Look at that, and Tinkerbell has just flown over here. You watch Tinkerbell, she's going to get up to all sorts of mischief during this build. She's very cheeky. There's all sorts of intricate stonework out here, the big stone bridge, and do you know what? I think that Minnie has always wanted to wear a crown and Cinderella just loves Minnie's bow. So they're going to try them out for a little while while we build bag number two or bags number two because there's more than just one bag in, <laughs> in our building phase of number two. <laughs> right, let's go. We're going to start building up some of the pillars that go internally, uh, so on the inside of the ground floor. And these are cute, this one, well not cute, sorry, these are very stately, not cute at all. This is a torch, flaming torch, so it's got a matching pair and they are situated here at the back. Ah, I've missed a piece there, that's why it doesn't sit quite right, because that torch is supposed to tuck right in. Good, that one's right now. Another piece of internal pillar work. I'm sure that's not the technical term. <laughs> And you can see that there's a little shield piece down the bottom as well and a swinging part so that these can be all clicked in eventually on an angle. So they can be angled around on the inside of the ground floor. There we go, so four big pillars plus our torch bearing ones at the front and we're up to bag number three. That was quick. I told you some of this was gonna have to go very fast otherwise this would be a very, very long <laughs> video. <laughs> How many days do you have? Okay, starting up the front here. got a nice smooth pillar on this side of white marble I'm going to assume just making that up calling it creative license we're building up the entryway we'll move Tinkerbell out of the way because she's oh she's up there now <laughs> she always seems to be in the way well she can fly a couple of big arched pieces so we're gonna have some nice strong foundations inside here on the big ground floor And it is now time to install our enormous doors on our stone entryway. And these doors only swing inwards. There, I feel as though doors of that size should make an almighty thud when they close. They're incredibly stately. And now we've got a nice archway. Oh, I've missed, there we go, that's better. I mucked that up. Now it is fixed. <laughs> a nice archway for over the centre of our door frame. Now, now where does this go? There's nowhere for it to click in. Oh, it just sits in there and then we hold it on with the piece up there. Perfect. Good. We are now cooking with gas. Or not. We're building with gas. We're just building really fast. <laughs> it's all coming together very, very well. We're starting to put some of the roof on here from the first floor. Now some more detail down here on the entryway, some wrought iron decoration. I love these pieces so much. And smooth the tops over. And on the front, I feel as though there should be lions here, but no. <laughs> that would not fit. <laughs> there we go. That looks really great. That's so nice. And of course we need a couple of lamps to uh, go on either side of the door and they're perfect there that looks fantastic and we're up to bag number four or bags number four wow the front entryway looks so good all right time to start filling in some of the rest of this castle because it's not all just about an entryway got some more pillars here and these are going to connect our other ones and that's very specific isn't it the ones that were in the middle at the back here and they're just big enough to hold a mini doll, but not a minifigure. We can put, put them in an archway. There. And they kind of float free on the bottom. They click in at the top, but they still float free on the bottom. And some arches. And good! Look at all this space down the bottom. It looks great. Like, you could use it for a grand ballroom. Might have to do that. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> I've got so many plans for this castle. All right, we are headed now up. 
on to the next level. There are quite a few levels in this castle. So like I said earlier, I hope you're sitting carefully and comfortably. And of course, every grand ballroom or entryway needs a chandelier with all of these candles. There, see? And it spins around and we install it up here. Ah, Tinkerbell. Oh, Tinkerbell, that's entirely not safe. You are a fairy, it doesn't really matter for you, does it? Okay, up on the mezzanine level, which is the brown level, which is going to be the brown level, the brown bricks. So they're going to be a little outside verandary area, a mezzanine. So we're up here. We've got a whole heap of smooth areas, but we've got a barrel. So we're up to our second fairy tale reference, fairy tale princess reference, and there's a new biscuit. Look at that. It's like a jammy, jammy dodger, a jam drop. And this is for Merida, this section. So I've grabbed Merida out of my other set and her brothers so that they can help supervise their part of this build. So did you hear that? They don't actually come in the set. But they're here to look and we've got a target two more of the new biscuits and a bow so we'll put that in there and there there we go our reference to Merida from Brave and that bow just sort of sits there but I can't figure out maybe I put the barrel in the wrong spot it just sits there it's gonna fall over I need something to hook the the bow onto like Merida there we go you can do some archery practice while we Build the next bit or not you can come down and check out what we're doing next oh this is cool all right this part is this part is for cinderella because it is her castle and it's very important it is a grandfather clock here is the pendulum so that actually swings in here i just can't stop fiddling with the pendulum it's so sweet and there we are it is about maybe eight minutes to 12 and it sits over here in the corner of the grand ballroom so you can keep an eye out on that Cinderella while you are dancing and I love this so much I want to make a million of these look at this tall urn flower pot it's so glossy and so luscious looking look with all the gold and the gold ring at the bottom and the big ball of flowers at the top it's just the perfect accompaniment to our ballroom down here and and look at these cute fellas. There are some coats of arms for some statues. There, look at that. <laughs> With knights in armor. And there's a matching one for the other side. Matching if I actually put it together properly. And Merida, would you like to, of course you would like to try that out. There, see? Perfect. So this one goes over here in front of this big column and this one goes on the outside. So they're on the outside columns. And we'll put the proper night on there. I know, Merida. I know you're having great fun up there. Maybe again later, because we are up to bag number five. All right, bag number five holds a whole heap of columns and external, so the facade of the actual castle itself, a whole heap of little towers. So we just pop Mickey in that one, because we have to put some stickers on. First of our stickers. And then we stick that onto there. That looks good. That's going to be a nice big wall. And here is another one. Not quite matching because on the inside of this one, we are going to have a place for a whole heap of shields. And they all have stickers on them, which will have some sort of significance that I won't know. There we are. And they go in there and they swing freely so they're gonna be a bit <laughs> they're gonna hang a bit dodgily till we put them in another sticker with the brickwork on it and it seems to have snow the whole thing seems to be snow topped there so that's the inside of the wall and here's the outside let's keep building up these columns and the arches and the bricks at the top and there's a spinny bit up here I wonder what we use that for I'm sure I'm about to find out so this goes on the spinny bit and more big columns, more stickers. And there are a whole heap of these decorations. They'd have a proper name like crenellations or something like that. I don't know what they're called. If anybody wants to tell me, I'm more than happy to learn <laughs> something about architecture of castles, of neo-romantic gothic castles, which is what I 
think this one is probably <laughs> something like that fairy tale as well but I don't know what all of the objects are called so now we're putting these bits these unnamed objects around to make the columns less round and slightly more angled and some more stickers on there just to add some detail to the brickwork and this clicks in that's the spinny bit at the top so it just clicks in at the top and these little white bits that I don't know the name for driving me nuts because the squares are not on straight so there we are fixed them up and now the shields are on straight too no we can't fix it we can't fit any of you up there <laughs> there's no room so we're up to bag number six. Oh, excellent all right bag number six let's see what it holds more walls you can tell that by all of the gray and this one I suspect it's going to be a kind of matching one to the other one we just built but it's different there is not a lot of repetition which is absolutely marvelous because otherwise it gets kind of boring building the same thing over and over again so inside the walls Jasmine has just come in for a bit of a peek she's not part of the set either but we are about to have an Aladdin reference in this part of the build so there we go there's one side of the columns like we had in the other one and the little arches and Jasmine's up here but we'll see we've got to finish building the wall before we can find out what we're going to do for our Aladdin theme for this particular castle here if you can sit up actually don't sit up there you're in the way <laughs> you have to move out of the way and here's another one of those little spinny bits more stickers and a teeny tiny little tower top there And more of those things that are the bane of my existence there's little white bits white dangly bits I'm gonna smooth up the tower there's a little box at the top of it put some little tops on it and here we go our Aladdin reference what are we building can you guess have you guessed yet yes it is it's the magic carpet look so the magic carpet is gonna hang here in the castle but before it hangs let's see Jasmine well yep magic carpet still working mighty fine <laughs> you want to bring that back oh you've come back with oh hold on oh oh gone again okay you do need to bring it back you've brought Aladdin now Aladdin doesn't come in this set none of these come in this set but they've just come in to see ah Genie's here too these are all out of the minifigures series sets the Disney minifigures I thought that you know Genie might be really really pleased to see carpet again and here is his lamp and he doesn't fit in there at the moment so this gets hung on the wall and the lamp gets installed under here and that looks good and there's this little empty space up here which is no not enough room for you no there's not oh and you've fallen out it's okay if, <laughs> if there wasn't enough room, there's definitely not gonna be enough room up there for you Aladdin okay <laughs> so that is the Aladdin reference in the castle which is really cool okay we need to finish up this part of the wall and then we install it over here on the swingy bit there it just clicks in on the front that's all it does ah what is that genie doing I don't know now we're up to bag number seven so genie had better behave himself because we've got lots more to build and I've made some mistakes over here which I found at the end of my bag so we'll just fix them up before we start bag number seven <gasps> did you see what is Cinderella doing she's dressed up as Tinkerbell where is which where, where did she go there she is oh I know Minnie I'm surprised too I suppose everybody wants to be a fairy at some stage in their life and be able to do magic oh you've scared off Jeannie too <laughs> right um, what did Tinkerbell think about this what's Tinkerbell wearing if you're wearing her her magic and her wings and her hair I suppose we'll have to find out we'll find out soon oh there she is okay so she's being a princess I suppose everyone wants to be a princess at some stage too it all looks like fun except now I think Tinkerbell might want her magic back I don't think Cinderella's playing very nicely she keeps flying away we're still trying to build over here girls so if you could just keep it down now did you see that nice big arch piece here it's printed so I love this part up the top there's a shield on here and it's a little balconette 
right at the top above all oh, watch out Tinkerbell's coming close to Cinderella she's gonna get all that magic back <laughs> it is hers <laughs> okay another big arch and some arches over the little arches here <laughs> I just kept saying arches I love the balcony I like it so much and it's gonna be perfectly usable now we have the first of the teeny tiny spire decorations they're all over the castle and oh Minnie Mouse has had enough here we go she's made them change back but Cinderella you didn't give the wings back lucky Tinker has her magic back and she could magic them back to herself right now that order has been restored perhaps we could continue building that would be nice thank you enough magical nonsense <laughs> there's never enough magical nonsense there'll be more magical nonsense now hold on I've put the big ones of these on and we needed the little ones yes so let's change this one over too and these are gonna go on the tops let me see I've missed another piece there because it doesn't sit flat now we're right Look, here we go again, these iconic Mickey Mouse colours, the yellow and the red. They're going to be hidden by all the grey and the blue in a moment. But we know they're under there. They're hiding inside. Okay, we're heading up towards the tower top. It's starting to look good. Now, which angle do I put these on? There we go. And another winged spot there. And we're almost at the top of the tower, Cinderella. Don't get too excited, because this is our decoration on the top it's a bit spiky and some more of these little spires these little white spires and a fancy very special clock with that time just before midnight so that we know that this is Cinderella's castle okay more little spires little spire decorations I love them I think they look absolutely fantastic and I love the fact that they're snowy white too in amongst all of that blue and grey. We're up to number bag number eight. Bag number eight. Let's see. We have got, we're going to introduce Donald Duck with his little tail. So here's the fourth minifigure that comes with this set. There are five of them all up. I think you can probably guess who the next one is. But Mickey and Minnie are very thrilled to see, <laughs> to see Donald. Okay, moving back up for the rest of the build, the characters are going to join us and Cinderella. Oh, but Tinker is so cranky she didn't get to be introduced to Donald that she's magicked his tail on backwards. Oh, Tinker, change that back immediately, please. Thank you. Goodness me. Oh, Mickey looks aghast. Oh, Tinker's just stolen Cinderella's crown and fallen off. Wow, she's in fine form today. <laughs> right let's hope she doesn't wreak any havoc out of our sight while we keep building these towers up 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 all right the next tower top here with all of these lovely colors these disney colors yellow and blue and red hiding on the inside check it out only you and i and everybody else who's watching this know that they're in here and everyone else who's built it too but there they are and they're going to be hidden over and here's the part we're going to hide them over with i think let me see whether this is going to be the tower top yes there we are so there's the cap on the tower that looks fantastic but not a sign of those blue yellow and red pieces and we're up to bag number nine more towers turrets and tall things and pointy things to go up on the top here there's another tower top and one over here as well and we've got our first of our flags so our gold flags get installed right on the top we're going to make sure they're all flying in the same direction because they would be of course so the wind would be blowing them all in the same direction up 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 a pointy finish on the back lower tower and another flag and look at that there the front facade looks pretty much finished 
but look at the back and the inside. So apart from Merida and our base floor here, our grand entrance floor, we have got towers to build up and we've got a lot more to go here. We might be up to bag 10, but there are still bag number 10, but there are still lots and lots of bags left to go. So of course you are going to have to join me for another video for the rest of this build with all of the details in the little rooms with the Disney princesses, each one matching particular movies. And it's really cool. And is that Donald falling over in the middle of that doorway there? I might have to go and fix him up. <laughs> so make sure you join me for part two. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and click like, check out some of my other silly videos and I'll be back with part two very soon, I promise.